Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a good old makeup and beauty haul. I have accumulated a few things over the past couple of weeks that I've been sent and stuff. So I just thought that I'd share them with you in this video. I know that you like a good old beauty haul and I do like chatting about makeup and beauty, as you guys know, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. <laughs> So first off, I have these two new bits from Sleek. So they're basically celebrating 10 years of their Eye Divine eyeshadow palette. So they've come out with this limited edition palette. It's called the Diamond Decade palette. And I love the pink shades in here. Like, I think that the grey and the black shades are absolutely beautiful as well. Although I do tend to stay away from greys myself just because I suit warmer toned eyeshadows better but I do love a good pink, so I'm really, really excited to use these two shades in particular. This one looks like it has sort of like a frost finish, but this one is completely matte, and I think that this would be a really nice kind of brow bone in a corner highlight. So I'm excited to use this, and Sleek's eyeshadows are my favorite drugstore eyeshadows as well. They're just really good quality. And they've also brought out this super bright hot pink lit VIP, and this is called Dream Decade. I also have these two new palettes from Pure. I used this in a video a couple of weeks ago. This is the Contour Diaries and it's basically three matte contour shades and three lighter shades which I guess you could use to set under your eyes and stuff but I used this middle shade which is just a warm matte brown in that video and I absolutely love it it's such a nice color just for warming up your face and I also contoured with it a little bit because usually I would use a shade like this which is cooler to contour but during the summer I have been just using a bronzer to warm up my face and then I kind of bring it into the areas where I normally would contour so I have been using this shade and I absolutely love it. And I also have this new eyeshadow palette which has a mix of matte and shimmer shades. It's got light shades, it's got medium tone shades, and it's got dark shades, which I absolutely love. You could literally create any type of neutral look with this palette. I particularly like these shades. This is a really sort of shimmery, coppery brown. It's really pretty. It's kind of like red toned, and this is just like a warm matte brown. I am drawn to those sorts of colors. I just think they're really, really flattering, but I'm so excited to use this palette. And Pure's products are cruelty-free, vegan, and they're also paraben-free as well, which is really good. And I was sent this cohorted beauty box. I've just untied this but I haven't actually looked at what's inside yet but they're basically a monthly luxury subscription box they have makeup and beauty products I've just opened this out look at this oh my gosh right first off love this concealer I've got this concealer on today actually it's my go-to concealer when I'm going for more of a natural look when I'm not full on caking my face on I just really Really love this concealer, you guys know, I've mentioned it a million times. It is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Light Medium, which is actually my shade. This is the shade that I use underneath my eyes just to brighten them up, and I'm so happy I have another one of these now. There's also this Chirp Body Hair Mask in here. It says it's 100% natural, pure oil blend. This is plant-based, vegan, and not tested on animals as well. Ooh, it's got raw coconut, yojoba oil, is that how you say it? Is it yojoba? I think it is. And it says that it's got avocado and argan oil in as well. Oh, it's got castor oil and olive oil in. Oh, it's got all the oils going on. I do like putting oils on my hair. I use them on my skin, I use them on my body, I use them on my hair. I just think they're absolutely great for rehydrating your skin and your hair. I just think they're amazing. So I'm really, really excited to try this mask out. There's another oil in here. This is the Paul Yakamine, fragrant organic essential oils for face, body, and hair. On the back, it just says blended luxurious organic essential oils to repair, soften, and nourish your face, body, and hair for a light silk texture, naturally pure and fragrant for radiant health and beauty. Let's give this a sniff then. That's so nice. That reminds me of something. I think that reminds me of jasmine. I think that smells like jasmine and it smells so nice. It's just got a really sort of soft scent. It's not overpowering or anything. So I'm really excited to try this out. And then we have a little body wash from Apple and Bears. This is a pomegranate and aloe vera body wash. I like these for traveling. They're so easy just to shove in your makeup bag or whatever. They just don't take any space. And there's also a MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. And you also get this little booklet which tells you about the product as well, which is really, 
really good. The Apple and Bear's body wash is not tested on animals as well and they support breast cancer care. And it tells you the actual price of all the products as well, like this hair mask is £18. So that's actually really, really handy to have. So that's the August box and they have a new sign up offer to anyone joining Cohorted. New customers will receive a Laura Mercier Cream Smooth Lip Colour in the shade Maya with the code Cohorted Gift Me at the subscription page. I'll leave that down below and that's while stocks last. So I've got these two new snazzy little brushes from Sigma. You might have already seen these if you follow me on Snapchat because I was talking about them on there. So this is their brand new 4D HD Kabuki brush. Now you guys know that I really like the 3D HD Kabuki brush but this looks completely different like it's got a point so this is supposed to be really really good for covering up scars or putting concealer on under your eyes and stuff and I'm gonna read the actual card that it came with it just says the 4D HD Kabuki is the concealer brush you didn't know you needed the dense super soft Kabuki comes to a point that blends out under eye concealer perfectly and will diffuse and cover up spots crevices and scars the sides of the pyramid shape can be used for larger areas and to press setting powder into place so yeah, I am super excited to use this. And they've also just brought out the F87 Edge Kabuki. Now, I mentioned this on my Snapchat, but how perfect would this be for placing bake underneath your contour? Does that make sense? You know when you're placing your powder, like underneath there to define your contour and you could sweep it off so easily with this as well. The angles are unbelievable. I'll read off the description for the little card as well for this so that you know exactly what it's meant to do. It just says, the F87 Edge Kabuki is dense, soft and particularly angular, offering edge to edge coverage when applying concealer, foundation or setting powder. The unique angles allow control and precision for getting into hard to reach areas and the flat surface is ideal for blending and placing setting powders. So this is another one that I am really excited to put into action. Okay, I've also got an absolute load of nail polishes. You guys know I like my nail polishes so I was super excited about this. First off, I've got a load from Morgan Taylor. This one I've got on my toes at the minute and I just think it's such a gorgeous shade. It's just a bright blue, as you can see. So this is in the shade No Filter Needed and these are really nice. They go on opaque in two coats. They dry really quickly. This one, it wasn't matte, but it had like a creamy sort of finish. So I did put a top coat over the top, which made it shiny, but I like the finish of both. I'm just into a shiny finish on my nails at the minute, but this is such a pretty color. I also have this shade, which is called Prettier in Pink. This is a gorgeous shade. Shade. I'm so excited to use this. It's just my shade entirely. This is such a summery shade and it is called Me, Myself and I. This one's called Woke Up This Way. This sparkly bluey purple is called Best Face Forward. I think this would be such a nice one for winter time. And this peachy one is so, so pretty as well. This one's called all about the pout. Also, this isn't new. I've had it for a little while, well, a few weeks, but I need to mention it to you. I've been using this so much recently. Well, actually, I've got it on my nails all the time. It's the Nail HQ all-in-one acai berry and argan oil. It's like a nail oil, but it's a treatment. It dries. So I've been using this kind of like a base coat most of the time because if you guys remember, I did have gel nail extensions on and when I got them off, oh my gosh, like my nails are ruined 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 like do not get gel nail extensions i just would not recommend them at all i don't know if it's normal but she kind of left some of the gel on when she removed them i'm guessing that is normal because if she'd have taken it all off she would have literally been filing my entire nail down that sounds gross but yeah it's got like bits of gel still on and they keep on like peeling off and it's just gross so this has been helping my nails so so much it's just stopping them from peeling and stuff and it's rehydrating them and it's just doing my nails wonders at the minute so i just thought i'd tell you about this so i've also got some shades from artistic color revolution first of all i need to mention these because they're so so good i've got one of their shades on my nails today actually i've got these on as well this is their reactive bonder base coat and this is their reactive gloss top coat i especially love this top coat it is so so shiny and glossy whoa and it's just beautiful i'm usually not one for top coats to be honest but i thought i would try this out seeing as i was sent it and it's converted me like i would buy another one of these i think it's absolutely lovely so the shade i have on my fingernails right now is this minty kind of turquoisey green one and it is called resting beach face i really really like this shade three that i think would be really really nice for autumn time are 
this one this is just like a muted orange and it's called summer crushin that's funny after i've just said that it would be good for autumn but how nice is that it just reminds me of pumpkins i also think this will be a really nice shade for september time this is called little red suit and it's kind of like an orangey red i think that this is quite autumnal i like the fact that it's orangey because i still like wearing bright colors in autumn time but sometimes some colors i feel are a bit summery for me although you can wear any color at any time of year but i do like to be a bit seasonal with my colors and this is just such an autumn shade in my eyes and this is kind of like a mustard yellow which again i thought would be really nice in autumn and this is called sun's out buns out and this hot pink is called babes and boards ah so the base coat and top coat it says on the back of the box here that it's a special formula that utilizes a unique self-curing reactive oligomer for hybrid extended wear and shine that is only produced when all three products are used ah so that's why it's so shiny you've got to use the base coat the nail polish and the top coat together but I do genuinely think that it works like they look so so nice guys also something which I'm so excited about is the Kiko Fall Whoa 2.0 collection this is basically their autumn collection I love Kiko's seasonal collections I'm so pained because I really wanted to create a video using all these products but I don't have space in my video schedule for like another three weeks would you still want to see it I will definitely create a look using these products for my Instagram so if you want to see these products in action make sure you're following me on Instagram cheeky little plug there but the products look so gorgeous they have this foundation and a little brush to put it on with like how cute is this and I really love the like midnight blue and gold um, packaging. I just think it's so, so pretty. This looks like my shade. I am excited to use this. Um, I do have a little spatula, which I use for products that come in tubs so that I'm not like putting my fingers in there. There is also an eye contour mask. This is an energizing and anti-fatigue hydrogel lace mask for the eye contour. This is something I'm excited to try. It's basically just a pink lip gloss, but since I've got my lips done, I am enjoying wearing lip gloss because I don't have to overline my lips anymore. And yeah, this is just a really natural shade and I don't have a natural lip gloss. There is a mascara in the collection. I'm not gonna open this. You guys know I really don't like opening new mascaras because I've got so many open and they just dry out. Ooh, they've got a baked bronzer. This is in the shade Warm Melange don't know if I've pronounced that right. I do like Kiko's baked bronzers. They came out with one last year. I think that was in a collection as well. I think it was last autumn actually and it was beautiful like I still use it. <gasps> this is pretty and they're so big as well and they last for absolutely ages. This is matte and obviously it's got the two shades. It's got like a darker sort of warm brown mixed in with like a creamy brown so I think this will be really nice and kind of natural looking. The packaging is so sleek as well. I love it. It's like really tactile we have a highlighter guys i am so excited about this highlighter it is a beautiful like a peachy gold shade i just think this is absolutely stunning i'm so excited to use this oh i really want to use these in a video i guess an instagram look will have to do this time unless like i said you don't mind seeing these in like a few weeks time there's a blush duo which is super pretty it's just like a matte pink with this peachy bronzy shade underneath and there's also a blush brush as well which is angled I love angled blush brushes I tend to use contour brushes quite often for my blush just because I think I don't know it just fits the apples of your cheeks really well they've got this snazzy looking kabuki brush I honestly don't even know what to do with this I'm gonna have to check the press release so it says that this is suitable for applying and blending pressed and loose face powders as well as creamy textures the dense fluffy synthetic bristles ensure that the powder is dusted on evenly for buildable coverage there's so many things in this collection they've got this eye base I find it difficult actually to get a good eye primer I usually use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, you guys know I love that, but this has got more of a yellow tone and I am looking for one that has a yellow tone because that one is pink, so I'm excited to try this out. There's also this really pretty blush pink lip liner which will go so nicely with the gloss. And there's another lip liner because there's a lipstick which goes with this and this is such a pretty like muted 
purpley red shade. I just think it's really gorgeous. So the lipstick that that goes with is this, which is the same colour, obviously. This is just a lovely sort of rosy shade. I think this would be a really nice sort of My Lips but better shade but it's kind of got like hints of brown as well in there which is really nice for autumn time so we've got this grey liquid eyeliner it's got a bit of a sparkle in Ooh, there's a gold metallic liner guys that is interesting I've never ever used a metallic liner in gold oh that'll be so nice just on the lower lash line and there's these two really gorgeous eyeshadows now guys look at these they come in these tubs and then you open them off take the thing off it looks like velvet. This is such a beautiful like dark mauve shade as well. I'm so excited to use these. I think the eyeshadows are what I'm most excited about in this collection. They just look amazing. What shade is this then? Ooh, <gasps> this is beautiful. It's like a greyish purpley kind of muted shade. Those would actually work really nicely together as well. Oh, and we've got another little liquid liner. What shade's this? Oh, this is like a gold shade. This would go really nicely with the gold metallic liner. So definitely let me know if there's any of those products that you want to see in particular videos. Leave me some video ideas as well. Like if there's any specific videos you want me to film coming up to like autumn and stuff, then definitely let me know. I'd like to film like an autumn makeup look and stuff like that. But leave me your suggestions down below and I'll take them on board. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.